already? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. At least it's a quiet jet airplane. Welcome back to the PNW Car Mods YouTube channel. And maintenance. This is going to be an and maintenance. I don't know if you can see the sun shining or lack of the sun shining through that master cylinder from here. This is probably the best shot. That's pretty dark. Reminds me of a certain expedition that I've taken care of in the past that lived in the desert of Arizona. Uh, this car was put in service in 2013. I'm sure that fluid's original. Needs to be flushed out. So we're gonna do that now. The rest of the brake system is up to speed. It's in good shape. I think the big thing we want to show in this video is besides just flushing the brakes is the way, uh, means of doing it via pressure bleeding. A lot of people don't know what that is. You know, most people sit there and do the pump and hold thing. Uh, depending on where you live in the country, pump and hold is very bad and it's very dangerous. I've seen and have wrecked a couple of master cylinders myself doing pump and hold because you end up pushing the uh, master cylinder plunger and seals down through the bore of the master cylinder in corroded areas that it's not used to traveling through and it just destroys the seals. Next thing you know, you got brake fluid pouring down your firewall. So, moral of that story, if you're gonna do pump and hold, don't push the brake pedal all the way to the floor. Just pump it halfway down. Takes forever but at least your master cylinder won't die. This is my handy dandy pressure bleeder. Um, I built this about seven years ago now. It is literally, yes, just a standard weed sprayer. I uh, never made a video about it because there's already videos out there on it on how to make your own. If you don't want to make your own, there is a company called Motive Products that sells all this stuff, including millions of adapters. Okay, not millions, but lots of them. For all the different OEMs, uh, master cylinder caps. This particular cap is homemade as well, and it is made out of a genuine Ford master cylinder cap. Um, I think one of the big things in making one of these pressure bleeders is you got to have a gauge in there in the tank so that you know how much pressure you're building in the system because you can go too far. In this particular case with my homemade Ford cap, if I over pressurize it, it just starts leaking at the cap, which is not good either because it makes a mess. But um, I think with this cap, I'm limited to right around 10 psi, but it seems to work just fine. You don't need to fill this tank completely full of brake fluid by any means. I like to put a solid cord in there though. You can see the straw going down to the bottom. And uh, yeah, it, it just, it generally just seems to work. Minimal of chance of getting, inducing air into the system unless like anything else you let this run dry. You don't wanna do that. This is an example of an actual Motive Products uh, cap. This is a Chrysler one. So what we're gonna do to start, most of you probably know this already. Take the cap off. We're gonna suck all this old fluid out of this master cylinder that we can. 
get that cleaned up. Um, and then a lot of times what I do is I find all the used brake fluid that I have in my cabinet, clean used brake fluid. And I, when I say used, let me rephrase that, opened bottles of clean brake fluid. I use that as the flush and I fill the master uh, cylinder with that. We'll push that through and then on top of that fluid we're going to have the fresh bottle of fluid in the pressure bleeder. Usually you can get this done within about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes, maybe 20 at the most. And uh, usually no, no problems introducing air and it will work as advertised. No problems with the ABS pump or anything like that. So that's enough rambling. Let's get this rig set up and uh, you probably don't need to see me sucking the master cylinder out or Isaac doing it. And we'll get all set up and then we'll start the camera back up. Okay, so we got our pressure bleeder hooked up. Got our hose ran. You're always going to see some bubbles traveling through the hose. It doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't mean that it's filling your system full of air. Our homemade cap, I took it up to 12 pounds and it held. I always put a couple of rags underneath the master cylinder just in case it tries to leak a little bit out of my homemade cap. One of these days I'll stop being a cheapskate and I'll buy the actual Motive Products cap and it won't leak if you use their caps. So I had it up to 12 pounds. It always falls off a bit. And we haven't started bleeding yet. Okay, Isaac, go ahead and crack that thing open about a quarter turn or maybe a little bit more. So we're going to sit here and push this fluid through until we start getting clear fluid out of that hose. S since we started at the right rear, I didn't trace the lines out underneath this car, but it kind of looked like the right rear was further than the left rear. That's not always the case, so once you get the furthest one away done, oh, we need some more pressure. That's why it slowed down. Now it should have sped up. I can actually hear my my old my old pump bleeding down a little bit. Let's close it and see if it stops. Nope. I think you can buy these replace you can buy replacement pumps on Amazon for like fourteen dollars or twelve dollars or something like that. I may end up doing that. This pump's probably. 10 or 15 years old. All right, so we're gonna finish bleeding out the uh, right rear and then we'll revisit where we're at when we get all the way up to the uh, left front. So we're at three down, one to go. We're thinking there might have been a blockage in the uh, bleeder nipple on the right rear. So once we got to the other two, the flow was quite a bit more like we did the left rear and the right front in less time than we spent on the right rear but that's okay we did get clear fluid out of the right rear so we're happy with that so Isaac's ready and I'm up here screwing around with cameras pumping it up <laughs> So my homemade cap does leak right around 10 PSI. That's why I got the rags kind of piled up around the master cylinder so we don't get brake fluid on things we don't want it on, but it is totally manageable. Kind of hard to see because there's so many obstacles down here. So 
eyes that can notice quite a bit of difference just between a couple of PSI. <laughs> See the drips coming out of the cap. The Motive products uh, billet adapters, I want to say they average about $28 to $32 a piece. And again, that was pre-Biden pricing, so I don't know what uh, I don't know what they're going for exactly right now. Already? Yeah. All right, so that's how quickly we did the left front. Obviously, it has the least amount of fluid to get to it. So really, the worst part about pressure bleeding, and it's not even that big of a deal, is when you get done with this apparatus, you now have a full reservoir, full, full to the max. So you gotta carefully let the pressure bleed down or bleed the pressure down by taking the pump out. And then uh, we gotta take the cap off and then we're gonna remove fluid down to our max line. This car has very good, uh, essentially brand new pads on the front, so we will serve it to service to the max. A lot of people don't know that this max line is a reference point to brake pad wear. It's not just a max line to how much fluid you can have in the reservoir. So in general, I never tell people to add fluid to a master cylinder unless they have a leak and they're just trying to get to somebody that can fix their car. So Isaac's doing a quick uh, left to right tire rotation on the front tires. Hermie Girds, we're all gonna die. You know, you turn the cords backwards, they'll instantly explode. So, pressure bleeding is done. Turned out wonderfully. I'll do the same shot through the master cylinder. That's what it should look like. So, if y'all have any questions on, uh, doing a pressure bleed job on your Crown Vic or any car with a normal hydraulic brake system, by all means, put them down in the comments below and we'll try and confuse you even more than we already have. But uh, that pretty much wraps up this one and we'll probably see you more on uh, that one over there. So yeah, over and out.